it was the update before Christmas. Here in Tracks, the train set game. Uh, there's a winter update that's just landing, um, and it's all Christmassy and that. Uh, there's about a, a modest amount of content, and plenty of little Christmassy themed objects, a new environment, and the ability to add atmospheric effects. So I've made it snow using the power of, um, I don't know, um, Jesus or something. Um, also fog. So there's lots of lovely fog, and I'm currently doing a little tinkly dance around this little track, uh, which is one that was added a couple of updates ago, but I've repurposed it for the purposes of Christmas. Uh, but what we're going to do in this video is actually build our own little Christmas town. So let's actually get out of that and start afresh. Oh, the train's gone wi wild into the distance. Okay, so let's build us a nice little festive village here in this nice clear area. Now, as you can see, things are looking a bit plain at the moment, so let's add some exciting graphical things. Let's go and have some fog. Let's make it a nice dark blue, a bit more dense. Yes, nice and twinkly. Let's let it snow. Here it comes. And of course, let's Christmasify the train. That's more like it. Ah, <laughs> there you are, my lad. Right, now we actually have to make Christmas. Here in Randomised User Utility Town number 4, as it's festively now known. Uh, let's actually go up in the air a bit so we can see what's what. Uh, first of all, I just want to make a little bit of like a um, token track. Yeah, let's make it go on a nice little curvy thing around here as well. And now let's actually start putting in stations and things. Let's get a nice... Let's get a, we a wedding station. Ooh, let's go for a, a, a nice regular one. Uh, this is designed to um, look better at night, I think. There we go, nice little station. I think we need some buildings as well. It's going to be fairly residential around here, I think. So I've got the option that places down nice random houses. So you don't actually have to think too hard about this, just bung things down. Right, so for some reason all the houses are facing the track, just like real life isn't. So, yeah, all looks very, very um, housey. But I think we can do better than that, we can put some lights on it. Uh, this is some of the new lights. I uh, have to go down to decoration. House lights, there they are. And we can drape them. Here we go, a little draping action. There, Christmas. 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 And that. Oh, that's actually going to be in the, hanging in the air, I don't want that. Oop, blimey. Down. There we go. Um, what would Christmas be if it wasn't for the tree? The other tree! And the third tree! It's it's the tree district now. Deal with it. This is like a, just a line of trees. Off into the distance. <laughs> hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ignore that. I think I'll, <laughs> I'll delete some of them. Oh no, this... Oh, there we go. It's an undo system, so we will have actually done all that. Anyway. Let's try and stay on, on track here, so to speak. Uh, so there's, a, there's, always, there's there's a few other Christmas items. There aren't like vast swathes of them, but there are enough just to give it a nice little pleasant atmosphere. So we can have like a little archway around here. And there's a few things they added in a previous update, like um, there's bells. If you go up to the active stuff, there's musical notes. Which you can change. We saw this in the um, intro. So, there we go, just some very basic stuff. So when you when you ride through it, it should go a little tinkly tinkly. Well, it better bloody well do. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's very unmusical. Also, for some reason, one ended up in the air. I'm not quite sure how. Oh, God, the... Uh -oh. <laughs> the train's gone. Oh, the train's gone. <laughs> Bye. Uh so we need to build this up a little more, I think. We, we actually do need to start adding a few more. Um, there we go. A few junctions and things. So we can go rogue as the fancy desires. Uh, this can be the... Uh, let's see. This What can this be? This can be the New Year's Eve um, everyone get drunk section. So there'll be pubs aplenty here. And just to be absolutely wonderfully confusing, it's just going to... The track's going <laughs> to crash into the other one. That's no good at all, is it? Oh, lads, it's it's time I saved. Let's go rogue and just not. Uh, let's see if there's a pub. There's a factory. Well, okay, let's let's have a, let's have an industrial district. Oh, look, a dumpster. Hooray. 
I see this this factory is huge. Ooh, that's industrial. Right. A anything else in the industrial zone? Other than Richard O'Brien. Flower shop? It's probably not really very industrial. There's only doesn't seem to be that much in the way of industry around here. Let's have a a windmill is fairly industrial. Um <laughs> if it's the sixteenth century. But Oh I've just <laughs> oh, yeah. Right clicked for undoing. There. This is so gloomy now. I think I'm actually um, I think the atmospherics are getting a bit oppressive actually. Let's try and brighten things up a little bit. We can actually um, type in the density or s use the slider. There, yeah, it's a little nicer now. Okay, I've got a rogue branch that's actually going above all the other branches. Not sure where it's going at the moment. Probably to Toys R Us. Get yourself a new screwball scramble. The best present of 2017. Bar seven. Come on, let's let's go down and let's rejoin the main track. And that's just chaos. But now everything's settled. Yeah, it's starting to look like a proper little railway now, with lots going on. Let's add shopping district. This is the commercial zone. It looks it's very close to the industrial zone. <laughs> Post office. Clock tower. Oh, we could have a nice little village square type thing here, maybe. Although it's <laughs> there's not much room. Uh, we'll try and get some trees in. Uh, let's go for not more, not more bloody Christmas trees. Let's go for the fairy tree. Oh, actually, let's, let's just... Oh, here we go. Well, that's probably a bit too close together. There, look at this. This could be the tree district. Not quite sure what I did there, but it doesn't seem to be quite even. In fact, it seems to be fairly average at best all around. And let's see, let's see how let's have a um let's yeah, just bang in a few normal trees as well. Oh that's they're tiny. Uh Ah Alright. Those weren't actually supposed to trigger. But apparently they did. Ooh. That was just a box of fireworks that I put down, thinking it would trigger at some point, but apparently not. Right, let's let's try out these fireworks, because I really want to try some of these to see if I actually make them go off. Well, in actual fact, presumably the trigger um, needs to go kind of like next to the track. Let's put it, let's put it there, I guess. See if these actually work. I'm not sure how these work. Hmm. I'm, I'm guessing that they get triggered. Uh oh, no, no, they just go off for whatever reason. So what's the trigger then? I need something to actually trigger them. Oh, the the train has long since gone way, way off into the distance, towards the evil lava zone of death. Let's actually um, re reset that. There we go. Right, let's actually see if um, this actually does anything with the fireworks. It's looking very atmospheric now. Oh yeah, there we go. If I can just actually see up there. Oh, it is a Oh! Yeah, it's, a rather, it's just basically a system, though. Whenever, whenever the the train goes over it, it sets it off. The trouble is, of course, there's, since there's a bit of a delay on it, um, yeah, you might not actually end up seeing the damn thing. Oop, 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 mind your heads, lads. Oh, no. oop, oh, oh, and again. Oh, <laughs> there's the picnic the, the picnic tables next to the um the factory districts. I'm not sure where we're going now, but... Does seem to be taking us around quite a large amount of the track there. Oh no. Now I think we're in a loop. Yeah. We're in the Bell District. And now we're in the Fountain District. There's a lot of districts in this town. Uh, I, I think the tree bit's my favourite though. Just gonna let the train go on. I'm gonna keep on making the tinkly noise as it goes around. This already feels rather nice. I'm gonna put loads of more um, loads more houses and things down though. Just to make it give it a really good bustling feel. I'm also gonna add passengers. In fact, let's do that now. Let's add a, a few businessmen. On their way home after their last shift in the factory. Actually, where's the release station gone? It's over here. Let's just kind of bug them down there. And with any luck, they may actually try and end up going onto the station, but it's a bit fiddly. Sometimes they just ignore that. Yeah, it looks like they're ignoring that. Let's try a regular group of people. 
See if we can actually get them to do anything. I might have actually... Mm, I might have actually put them underneath the station. I find it very fiddly working out, working with passengers, but to hell with them. Let's actually start putting in some more houses. Uh, we need some more around here, I think. But yeah, let's let's drop some houses on top of the people. That'll teach them. Yeah, let's put them here. Back-to-back -back housing. Shout out to the 19th century. Uh, huh. Huh. Oh, ha, <laughs> ah. Hello, clock tower. That's probably not the most ideal thing in the world. That's more like it. Okay, I think I've um, pretty much I've got all the decorations sorted. The fireworks are a bit of a bust in the sense that I put them on the track, then discovered that if you do that and you drive into them, you bounce off them and you are going nowhere. So I've had to do a bit of fiddling around the place. So let's have a little inaugural tour of Randomize User Utility Town at Christmas 44, or whatever the hell it was called. There's a, a red zone there, which I still don't fully understand. Anyway, let's have... Oh, here we go, up in the air for the first time. Stop at the business station. Oh, here we go, setting off some fireworks. Whee! Oh my god, that's getting really dizzy. Right, where am I going now? Oh, more fireworks. I'm going to slow down a bit. Slow down. As we go through the um, the tree district. Oh. Ah, the, the head-smashing district. Ah, ooh. In it pretty is the clock tower. Oh, <laughs> getting a bit dizzy again. And let's go cootling down here past those new lights. Let's try and go left. Oh, we can't. There's literally no way of doing that. I haven't actually designed this properly. I could just stop there, couldn't I? Oh, I think you get trapped on a loop. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, I'm actually completely trapped on this loop now. And thanks to great design. Um, <laughs> might have to do some work. Oh, shut up, bells. So I've redesigned this little bit. So you can actually turn right here, past the Factory of Dreams, to the Windmill of Christmas. And underneath the Arch of Dark! <laughs> it's a bit violent there. Oh, now we're, now we're going. Where are we going now? Oh. Oh. We shouldn't be going down here. This is the um, this is the district of muggers and general prickery. Oh, up in the air we go. It's fine. This is the greengrocer district, and this is all very nice. This is all very nice indeed. Well done, game makers, for a nice game. None of your shooting. Not yet, anyway. Anyway, okay, that's a nice little Christmassy thing. Look, there's the tree district. Yes. So, happy Christmas, everyone, as it gets towards Christmas. Uh, this update should be um, out by the time you see this. Uh, and everything should be lovely. Dumpster! And I'll see you next time. Uh, bye for now.